Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here once again in the sense of the continuous support and Rodun Schwartz has been giving to this conference. It's really a pleasure to have you on board. Uh, a lot of challenges ahead for 6G and I'm sure Rodun Schwartz has a, a number of them in the list to address, right? That's correct, yeah. So uh, first of all, uh, so thank you very much and um, that we are, can be here and we are also be proud that we are a silver sponsor for uh, the second time in a row at least. And uh, this has also a certain reason, of course, uh, because we are active in just a couple of uh, 6G related research projects uh, on national level as well as on European level. And therefore it's very important for us to connect here with the community um, um, with the academia, but also with the research arms of the industry. And uh, those folks come here together and uh, we are here making contacts and exchange new ideas with our partners and friends and also looking a bit left and right and also forward. Yeah, What are the challenges uh, now for 6G? And um, uh, as we can see, there are some topics which are aimed and developed and researched for 6G um, that might maybe not come in the first uh, phase of 6G, but just later on, but are still going to be researched, like uh, uh, sub terahertz communications, for instance. Yeah, This might be maybe not a first day implementation. Some of them might come later because of the economic challenges that the, the operators say at the moment, but we should never, yeah, underestimated uh, what is uh, possible in, in the long term and therefore also we have to position ourselves as a test and measurement company um, we have to be an enabler to always find out where we can support uh, the research what can we contribute and uh, so for instance we have uh, test solutions for sub terahertz communications for reconfigurable intelligence services we are working on AI, ML, where we established a hardware in the loop uh, setup where our partners can check their machine learning uh, algorithms uh, against real signals, of course. And then also there are um, new um, developments which might be a little bit G-agnostic, for instance, the XR and Metaverse. Yeah. So, and uh, I still hope that uh, we will come sooner or later to a new kind of, of user equipment, yeah. So th those classes for also augmented reality that can be used in the field. And this will bring also a new challenge for test and measurement because uh, we still do not, not entirely know what is a, a good user experience for those kinds of classes, yeah. So we have this for speech quality, we have this for uh, video testing and uh, but for 3D immersive applications is not yet entirely researched there. Yeah. And this is also one topic where we are working on and uh, I hope we will see in the next uh, couple of months and years lots of progress in this area uh, and I hope this will be also an area that will commercially uh, take off sooner or later. Many challenges ahead. We'll check next year how it goes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.